We can't start a video like right. that. Tell us if you can relate to this scenario. So you're turned on, you're interested in some intimacy, mm. you go initiate sex, and your partner is totally annoyed. Uh. <laughs> what is going on here? Today we are gonna be talking all about this dynamic, but first we wanna hear from you. Let us know in the comments if this has ever happened to you. If you're brand new to our channel, then first we just wanna say hi. We are Vanessa and Xander Marin. Vanessa here is a sex therapist and we've been together for 14 years. Also, if you see them, these cute little faces behind us are our pugs, Winston and Maggie. And our account is all about giving you the tools, tips, and techniques that you need to create a truly extraordinary relationship inside the bedroom and out. So if you're interested in that, just go ahead and hit that subscribe just button. Just do it. All right, so before we get into this video, we just want to share that we are going to be talking about a male-female dynamic here. Yeah. We really like to try to make our content as inclusive as possible. It's very important to us. But sometimes there are specific dynamics that come out in specific configurations of mm -hmm. relationships that we want to spend a little bit of time diving into. So this is something that we hear a lot from men. They mm -hmm. say, you know, I'm trying to initiate. I think I'm doing a good job. And my partner just seems so annoyed. Like mm -hmm. they, you know, they get really upset in the moment. All right, so let's just get straight into it, Vanessa. If I were doing this to you, why might you be feeling annoyed? Okay, so we initially got the idea to make this video based on a DM that we got on Instagram. A husband reached mm -hmm. out and he said that he initiated with his wife. She got really annoyed. Yeah. And so we started talking it over together, like trying to plan out this <laughs> video. And I came up with so many possible reasons why that wife might be annoyed in the moment that we actually realized we need to not only do a YouTube video about this, but also a podcast so we can go even more in depth on this huge, like literally yeah. huge list of reasons that I came up with. Yeah, there's more here than you might think. <laughs> so what we decided to do is in this video, we're gonna share the top three reasons. And yeah. these are based on the feedback that we get from women on the other end of it, telling us like my husband initiated at this time or mm -hmm. in this way, this is what was yeah. really frustrating to me. So the number one reason that we hear about from women is like, I was in the middle of doing something when mm. my partner initiated and I just can't change tracks so quickly. So right. she was feeling like, you know, I was really focused on doing this task on like writing a to-do list or mm. in the middle of a chore or something. And there's just this feeling of like, it's too extreme of a change to go from like busy mode into yeah. having sex mode. And it just felt too abrupt and yeah. therefore felt kind of annoying. It's also like, I'm in the middle of doing something. Yeah. Like, why are you bothering me at this time? It feels like bothering rather than like yeah. an invitation to intimacy. Okay, let's talk about the number two reason that, that this tends to come mm -hmm. up. A lot of women will tell us like, I was doing something for myself and I felt like he interrupted that. And so mm -hmm. therefore it felt like disrespectful. So a lot of women tell us they feel like they have very little time to themselves in a day. Like sometimes even just a few minutes yeah. of time. And so so when a woman makes an effort to like do something for her own self care, like do something for herself, and then she gets interrupted in that moment by her partner mm -hmm. wanting something, it can be that same abrupt like, hey, I was in the middle of something that we discussed with number one, but also the sense of feeling a little disrespected of like, this is my five minutes of the mm -hmm. day that's for me. Like yeah. I don't want anybody needing something else from me at this time. Okay, and the number three reason is pretty similar too, mm -hmm. but a lot of times women will tell us like, I was doing something for for him oh. or like for our family and he's trying to interrupt me so she feels unappreciated uh yeah, yeah. so yeah like maybe she's cooking dinner like mm -hmm. for me and then i'm interrupting her like that i can imagine I'm folding your laundry mm -hmm. i'm you know doing this kind of thing and th it's the sense of like you don't even see how hard i'm working yeah. you don't see the things that i'm doing and not only that they're all ready for you and now you're coming at me with even more like demands and requests so it can just feel mm -hmm really frustrating. So those are the top three reasons. Like we said, there are plenty more and we have a lot more to say about all of them too. So keep an eye out on our podcast Pillow Talks for when we do a podcast episode about this topic. Well, if you like this video, please give it a like. Also hit the red button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, click the notification bell so you get notified as soon as we post more videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.